It's October 4th, 2023. It's the calm before the storm here at Loon Lake, and it is beautiful. My nerves are through the roof because I know tomorrow I have a battle ahead of me. But for tonight, we'll just enjoy the peace of the forest and the lake. What's up drivers? Welcome to the carpool lane. Today we are doing the legendary Rubicon Trail and I am definitely not nervous at all. Easy peasy, eight out of 10 on difficulty on Onyx. It's gonna be a long one. And today we got weekends and waypoints with us. We got some other Broncos joining us today. Uh, my prediction is we're not gonna break anything and it's all gonna go really good. We're gonna look really cool doing it. What do you think is gonna happen out there today? Uh, I think it's gonna be a great day. Uh... I hope that we don't run into any issues, and I'm excited. All right, you heard it here, folks. He's excited, and we're not going to run into any issues. All right, y'all, this is Brandon. Brandon, what do you think is going to happen out there today? Hopefully nothing. It's going to be a great day. A few moments later. <laughs> That's right. That is right. Let's do it. Okay, the Rubicon has begun. We are going at it. We are already bouncing and it is looking beautiful out here today. I'm excited. Okay, you're gonna get a little tippy. That right one's gonna come, your passenger side's coming down. Good though. been out here for a couple hours now guess how far we've gone two miles two miles it is noon we left I think it was about 9 a.m. we've gotten two miles through this place is relentless
It is day 1345 and we are still trucking along on the Rubicon, coming up to the V-notch right now, so let's see how this goes. Five twenty-four p.m. Conditions update on the trail. Rocky. Uh, we are in sight of Buck Island, which is about to be Siesta Island. It probably would be Fiesta Island if I wasn't so tired. But it's getting dark. We're racing the sun, making our way downtown, driving fast as I go zero miles an hour according to my dash. <laughs> Okay, nine, ten hours later, we finally made it to Buck Island, at least close enough to it, and we are going to camp here. That was a lot. My eyeballs are hurt from, like, focusing so hard, but I am glad we are here, and I know Kobe is ready to stop as he's just been bouncing. Definitely started this with a license plate, and currently... Do not have one. She's in the back, luckily, but Cardi B has fallen off. Good morning. It is day two of surviving the Rubicon, and I think we have about five miles left, which is probably going to take us like 20 hours, so we're going to get to it. I've already lost the license plate. Bumper's pretty broken. Something's rattling underneath, but we're thriving. The Rubicon has claimed a second license plate. It's two down, one more to go. No, it's got, coming for you. I got that Lobo off-road license plate. See, it's above the bumper. Yeah, go Lobo.
As you can see, we've made it to some waterfalls, a little paradise off of the Rubicon Trail. Water looks amazing. Kobe's in there enjoying it. I kind of want to get in there, but I want to dry off. So. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous spot. We're going to keep on going now. Okay, we just passed Rubicon Springs and we are now at Cadillac Hill. We are moving and grooving super slowly. Yeah, I think we are moving up Cadillac Hill. We had a couple issues, got stuck. A drunk guy in a Jeep said we're about 100 yards from freedom, so let's get to it. I'm ready to be free. There's been some Ruba carnage. finally made it to the bottom of the Rubicon. I'm gonna do a Rubicarnage report, see how much damage we got, because I know I lost the license plate, Glenn lost the license plate. We've got some bent in rock rails. Let's go figure it out. Yeah, let's let's do a Rubicarnage report. Yeah. What do we gonna have to figure out how to get our license plates back on. Yeah, you and me, <laughs> we need license plates. We've got some bent in rock rails. Yeah, right here. And who needs a license plate? We don't. Oh, All right. Yeah, we got two. Gave my rocker in also. My door was touching my rock rail. What's up, buddy? You love that? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we did it. We proved that the Broncos will make the Rubicon. We did it with a two-door Badland Sasquatch. Uh, I don't know what trim Corbin's is, but he's got to be the first Bronco to do it with no lockers. I think the 37s help. Then I have my 22 Badlands. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit like and to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And I'd love it if you helped me out.
Thanks. See you on the next row. Literal bear crossing in Tahoe right now. That's crazy.